sporty, and elegant. That's the impression many women want to make when they step out to do some weekend shopping. And that's just what Volvo's revamped C70 delivers. With the top up, the car is a sight to behold. But when it's down, it's even better. It takes 30 seconds for the three-part retractable hardtop to disappear into the trunk. Now the shopping trip can continue. For Drive It, student Clara Schmies takes the stylish convertible out for a spin. She especially likes the C70's combination of elegance and sportiness. It's something that's evident both inside and out. Here the controls are clearly arranged and easy to use. And you also see different materials combined, like on the steering wheel. It's made of brushed aluminum and very grippable soft leather. The C70's elegance owes much to renowned Italian car designer firm Pininfarina, which made a name for itself creating unique car bodies for Alfa Romeo and Ferrari. Thanks to the vehicle's built-in sensors, parking is a breeze. Now nothing stands in the way of enjoying a day out in the city. When the vehicle is locked, the side mirrors automatically retract. As far as the exterior is concerned, Volvo has only made slight changes. The C70's new LED taillights are better integrated into the car body. The front is more tapered, and the redesigned radiator grille boasts more chrome. Volvo has also spruced up the interior with classy surfaces. Clear lines dominate the cool Swedish design. But back to our shopping test. Laden with parcels, we open the trunk lid and... Surprise! Here's where the rain deflector is housed. Nothing bigger than a handbag can fit in this space. But surely a place big enough to store a roof should be able to hold a few shopping bags. A push of a button is enough. Technology takes care of the rest. Its floor isn't flat, but the trunk does offer 404 liters of storage capacity. That's enough for all the shopping bags, although it's then no longer possible to open the roof. Now her shopping has been safely stowed, Clara says she wants to see how spacious the back is. Power seats make it easy to get in. Clara notes that, although the car looks very flat, especially at the rear, here in the back there's an astonishing amount of headroom. And there's no shortage of legroom either. We're testing the small 136 horsepower diesel model. It's equipped with an optional double-clutch transmission, which so far is only available with this engine. With it, gear changes are smooth, yet sporty. Our tester says the car hugs the road well and makes a very agile impression overall. The view out the side and front windows is fine, largely due to the lack of B-pillars. However, she notes visibility isn't so good out the back. But with the top down, the view is just fine. In Germany, 33,000 euros will buy you the basic model for cruising around the city. Every day should be Saturday. <laughs>